All right, in a world of flipping and folding phones, we have here the OnePlus 10T. And I think this is a good phone. And hear me out on this because there has been some negative attention that has gotten, especially since Jerry Rig everything snapped the sucker in half again. Okay, I'm gonna get this one out of the way right now. Probably if I tried really hard, I mean, I haven't worked out in a couple of years, but I mean, I still, I still got some muscle here. I, I might could do it. You could probably, if you applied all your might, snap this phone right here because of the structural integrity, the way that it's made, all that great stuff. You're not going to. And I have no worries about it. I, I have the OnePlus 10 Pro, which had the same problem. Look, these things are built solid. It's a good phone. Don't worry about it. Now, if you get in a car wreck and things go bad and or, you know, heaven forbid something else tragic happened. Yeah, just like any other phone, it might get broken, but I'm not overly worried about it here. I think it's a cheap parlor trick, not not trying to discredit what Jerry Rig Everything does, but that's not something really that's ever gonna happen. Yes, you might scratch it up, you might do some other things. It looks good for a video. I'm not worried about it. I, I would feel fully confident buying one. So I've been using it for a couple of days now and I was really impressed with this phone especially from when I went to, I went to the event. I went all the way up to New York City to, I paid my own way to go see this event and see one of these in person. I talked about it previously. Yes, there are some things people don't like about it. It doesn't have a complete flagship setup of, of cameras. Yes, it has a two megapixel macro lens, which is actually okay. It's got an eight megapixel ultra wide, which is not the greatest in the world. And it has a 50 megapixel primary camera, which is actually pretty decent. So you're still gonna have limitations on the front. It has a 16 megapixel selfie, which, takes okay pictures, but it's limited to 1080p video, which still perplexes me. Now, it has the under the screen fingerprint sensor that works nice and quick. Probably, I think OnePlus makes the best under the screen fingerprint sensors, at least the optical ones anyway. Beautiful looking phone. Here's the thing. There are three main reasons to buy this phone. One, for power. It has the best flagship processor you can get in an Android phone, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1. You, it's going to be great for gaming and the way that they've done it with the heat management and the heat piping and the heat sink inside of this phone is designed to keep it much cooler than other competitors that would normally get hotter much faster and that's the thing. This is designed to keep you playing longer, having less frame drops and having a more consistent gaming experience. So if you like power, if you like smartphone gaming, this is probably just about as good as any other gaming flagship Android phone you can get. So top notch there. They even have this fancy case, which lowers it another two degrees Celsius because of this material here. It's like a gel material. You'll put it on the phone and it helps absorb some extra heat. So if you use this in conjunction with the phone, you're talking about five degrees Celsius cooler or more than other phones that have the Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1. That's great. So good for that. Also, it's good because of the screen. This is one of the best looking screens I've ever seen on a phone. It looks nice, it's fluid, 120 hertz, beautiful screen, beautiful colors, AMOLED display, it's 1080p. I wish it was Quad HD+, it's 1080p, that's kind of what you get because it's the 10T, not the Pro model. But at 6.7 inches, Gorilla Glass 5, there's no Gorilla Glass Victus, there's no IP68, there's no wireless charging. So there are some downsides here. There's no external storage, no headphone jack, there's no mute slider switch, which really hurts some OnePlus fans' feelings. I'm not that big of a OnePlus fan that I care that much. I like the phones, I respect what they do, I appreciate the power, the flagship specs, the price. You can get it introductory for $599. That's the 128 an eight gigabyte model. You can also get a 12 gigabyte of RAM model and 256, and you can get a whopping 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, which is a lot. However, again, there's no expandable SD card slot, so you can't add more on there. You also get facial recognition. It's running the latest version of Oxygen OS, which I know some people have heartache about. Look, it runs great. Android 12 is gonna get Android 13. It's super fast. Yes, it's very much like what you get with the Oppo. Why? Because the company is merged with Oppo, which is their parent company over in China. However, it works great for me. I think it's nice. I think it's fast. I think that they've done a great job with it. And there are a lot of benefits to using this phone. So first thing, the screen was, well, first thing was the processor. That was the main reason to buy it. The second reason, the screen. The third reason, charging power. This thing charges super fast. Now, the US model is more limited than the international model because we use a 110 over here in the US versus a 220 internationally. It doesn't charge as fast. However, it still charges super, super fast and it comes with the charger in the box, which is a nice plus you don't get with a lot of phones nowadays. So the fast charging international model up to 150 watts here in the United States maxes out at 125. It'll recharge this phone quick, 
fast and in a hurry. So it may only have a 4800 milliamp battery, but if you have the international model, it'll charge from zero to 100% in like 19 minutes. But in the US, it'll still charge in about half an hour and it'll give you a whole day's battery power in like a 20 minute charge. So there are some benefits here, a lot that I like about it. I think that it's a really nice phone to use, very refreshing. If you want something that's different than Google, different than Samsung, different than Apple, you don't wanna break the bank, then it's a great alternative. You get 5G, LTE, VOLTE. You've got some great stuff here. You've got built-in technology that it helps maximize the signal even in congested areas, which is something that I was happy about. You get the cooling, you get great staying power, and you can recharge it just like that. And the charger comes in the box. So I think there's a lot to like here. I think if you get past the, okay, yes, somebody on YouTube snapped it in half with their bare hands. Yes, if you can get past the fact that it's not a Samsung. Yes, if you can get past the fact that there's no mute switch, which again, I don't really care about that much because you can still do it with the volume stuff. You can still use a volume rocker and turn it down. You can put it in do not disturb mode, all those great things. So I'm not overly worried about those things. I think that the pros des definitely outweigh the cons with it. You get kind of a budget-ish flagship. I, I really hesitate to call anything five, six hundred dollars budget, but for what you're getting, you're getting the power and sophistication of a thousand dollar phone without some of the extras like the IP68, like the wireless charging, like the Quad HD Plus. But some people don't care about that. Some people just want a ton of power with a beautiful screen, a very capable camera setup, and a really nice looking phone. And it's got this really, really, there's two different options. There's the jade color, which has a smooth glossy finish. And then you have this, it's almost like a velvety texture, super improved over the OnePlus 10 Pro. The one on the OnePlus 10 Pro, it felt almost like that frosted texture. If you're touching ice, like it would just give me chills. I couldn't deal with it. This one feels super, super smooth, nice and velvety, beautiful looking phone. And I do think it's pretty well made. I think it's a good phone. I think, it, I think you can't go wrong with this one if you're interested at the price point. So I'm going to wrap this one up. That's all I've got on my look at the OnePlus 10T again. Solid phone, I like it, especially if you buy this case with it, which looks phenomenal on the phone, I gotta say. And also the case does give you the raised bezel protection for the cameras, it gives you the raised protection on the front for the screen, has a built-in screen protector, which is also nice. So you're winning in a lot of areas with this phone and hopefully you'll win some video games playing it. So that's all I got, gonna wrap this one up. If you have any questions or comments, then please go down to the comment section, I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.